Hi, this is Jennifer with City Farmhouse Antiques, and I'm here with our find of the week that I do every Friday. And I want to talk about this serigraph that I just purchased from the famous artist Erte. And Erte was actually a very well-known artist back in the 20s and still is uh, today. Um, but this is a serigraph uh, that he did back in 1982. In fact, it's titled Fantasia. But everything he did he would say is based on fantasy. And you can really see that this is complete fantasy. Um, he designed furniture, he designed costumes, he designed settings for stages, for theater and for ballet back in the 20s, and then went into costume design. Um, but he was actually born in St. Petersburg, Russia. And um, his, father, his father and his family had deep, deep roots in the military. And his father wanted him to pursue a military career, and he didn't want to. He wanted to do something different. Um, he, he gave himself a pseudonym name by the name of Erte for the R and the T in his original name, which was, which was Roman Turtoff. And so he became known as Erte because he didn't want to bring any shame on the family should he not be successful because he didn't, you know, go by his father's wishes. And so he moved to Paris when he was about 20 and he lived in a small apartment, a small clean apartment. And um, a cute part um, of my research, he lived um, with two cats and seven doves and his fish. But he commented that he lived in a very clean, quiet apartment. He always had to be in a quiet place because he couldn't think if it wasn't quiet. And he noticed, you know, a couple days after being there that he would notice beautiful women going up and down the elevator, but each time he saw them, they would be with different men. And he quickly realized that he wasn't living in the typical apartment, which I thought was cute. But uh, he lived in Paris back in the 20s. He was very famous. Um, for his magazine covers. He did over 240 magazine covers for Harper's Bazaar alone. He also designed covers for Vogue, for Cosmopolitan. Um, he did stage sets, like I mentioned, and ballets and costumes. He, he came to the United States for about a year and did sets and costumes for Hollywood. Uh, and then, of course, went back to Paris. Um, he later in the 60s, not many artists get that chance to have a resurgence in their work. But when Art Deco became popular again in the 60s, so didn't his work. And that's when he really started with these serigraphs and um, his bronzes. He went into costume jewelry and a lot of different things that you still see today. His work um, has been very famous and well sought after. It's been in the Smithsonian, it's been in the Metropolitan Museum of Art, uh, it's been in museums in Tokyo. Um, he, he lived to be a very old man at the age of 97 uh, and died back in 1990 in, in France. Um, what's unusual to me is that his work was so modern and so different all those times ago back in the 20s and yet it's still modern and stylish today. So his work has really stood the test of time. And I guess that's part of the reason why they call him the true father of Art Deco. Um, because really, you can see from just this that he really was. And probably his most famous piece, his most famous piece of graphic art was what's called Symphony in Black. And if you remember seeing a graphic of a very extravagant, elegant woman dressed in black with her dog next to her that she's holding on a leash, that is one of his graphics. That's one of his most famous graphics. And so when you see his work, just like this one, it's, it's really unmistakable that it's his. He has a very, very unique um, type of artistry that he exhibits throughout all of his work, whether it's a serigraph, whether it's a bronze, whether it's his stages or a magazine cover. Um, the neat part that I do want to show you is the back of this piece. I purchased this piece, it will be on the website for sale, um, but the certificate, the Certificate of Authenticity by the Merrill Chase Gallery um, is here and, and stamped, as well as what's neat is the biography. It's got all the information about the artist, um, 
on two pages of biography, and then it's got the print documentation. This was actually a serigraph that he did in 1982 um, that, as I mentioned, is titled Fantasia. Just a very, very interesting man with a very interesting career, an interesting life, and so different, you know, all those times ago, you know, because he was born in 1892, you know, and to go out on your own like that and to do something different, um, really, it's, it's remarkable. It makes for a remarkable story. So I wanted to talk to you about our find of the week, Erte, and thank you so much for joining me. And again, this piece will be listed on our website at www.cityfarmhouseantiques.com where we are more than just antiques.